Hey, this is Chris Menard. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We're doing Excel Advanced today. We're going to look at what if analysis using data tables. We've got a one input data table and a two input data table. We will look at both of them. A data table is an easy way to change one cell and get multiple results. Let's go ahead and dive into this video right now. I've got my Excel file pulled up. I have a loan amount of 480,000. I did a 30 year loan for this home and I created the interest rate of 6.75%. I have already filled in the three formulas down below. Here is the payment function, followed by the total paid, which is just a formula, followed by the amount of interest paid. I'm going to do quickly show you the formulas right there. B1 through B3 are input cells. Cell B5, B6, and B7 are known as dependent cells. So we got our input and dependent. Here comes our one input data table. It is an easy way to change one input cell and immediately get multiple results. So I am curious as to what happens at the different number of years. I have this set for 30 years, but what happens with a seven-year loan, a 10-year loan, a 15-year loan? So I'm gonna come over here and type in the word years. Seven years, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. You can put in whatever years you want. Over in cell E3, I need to create a 3D reference. I'm gonna do equal. What is it I want to know? I want to see how the loan payment will change at these different years. So I'm going to reference the dependent cell B5. My one input data table is ready. I'm going to select the range, go to the data tab at the top. Data tables are part of what if analysis, data table. Two options, I'm doing a one input table. I'm gonna use the column input cell because my number of years are running down column D. So I'm gonna click in there. And again, it says, what input do you want? My input cells were B1, B2, and B3. I'm gonna select the 30 years, click OK. We quickly format this. This is showing me my different payment amount per month for these different years. So if I go to a seven year loan, which is paying your house off early, I'm paying $7,186 a month for principal and interest. The check figure you have is 3113 equals 3113. If you want E2 to not show, you can go to format cells, custom. Notice it's sitting right there in the sample. Do three semicolons. It is not showing in the sample. Click OK. But the number is actually still there. Now, the reason it's a data table is this. I'm not interested in seeing the different payment amounts. I want to know how much interest paid we're going to have at these different number of years. So I'm still in cell E2. Equal. And we'll take the interest paid. Seven years should pay off. We should have less interest at seven years than we do at 30 years. And sure enough, there are those numbers. And again, there's your check figure. And if you want to know the total paid, you can even reference that also. So E2 equal B6. Perfect. One cool feature about a ta data table is if you select a cell inside of there and try to delete it, you can't because all those are part of the data table. To get rid of them, you got to highlight them all and then press delete. I'm going to do an undo though. And again, you can unhide that cell with control one. And there you go. That was a one input data table. In your Excel file, move over to the worksheet called two input. We just did a one input a second ago. Now we're going to do a two input. I already have this set up. Very similar data to what I have before. I've got the interest rate, though, this time at 
I have my months going down column E, and I have different loan amounts running across row number two, starting with 300,000. We still have to do our 3D reference, just like we did with the one input table. I'm going to come in here to cell E2 and do equal. What is it you want to know? I'm going to again reference the payment amount. We could do the same shortcut key format cells, three semicolons to hide that if we want to. I'm going to leave it here on this one though. I've highlighted my range, data tab, what if analysis, data table. This is a two input data table. And again, the input cells are B1 to B3. The dependent cells are cell B5 through B7. My row is the amounts going across the top, which is the loan amount. And my column input is the months running down. So this is a two input data table. Click OK. Feel free to format some of these numbers. There you go. There are the different loan amounts per month for principal and interest at those different months and those different loan amounts going across row two. Obviously, $450,000 at 10 years is going to be the highest number, so that is correct. So there is some check figures for us would be 400,000 at 6 400,000 at 30 years 2398 2398. We did this before with the two input table though. I'm now interested not in the loan amount but in the interest paid. 300,000 at 10 years should be the lowest number and it is. Same as before, you cannot delete a cell in there. You would have to select the entire range to delete it. I'm going to undo that. That is a one input table we did earlier, and this was a two input data table. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.